Well, a friend of mine has a problem with his differential. Uh, it's got a bad noise when it's holding back going downhill. And my guess is it's either the pinion bearings is uh, gone bad or maybe the nut has backed off of the pinion and letting uh, the pinion gear move back and forth. So uh, I've got the, got the differential out. I pulled it out this morning and uh, got it hanging on the chain horse here. And, and uh, we're gonna uh, pull the, it's got a Mitchell overdrive on it. So I thought I'd show you guys how to pull the pinion bearing out. And so uh, I'll get the camera set up and we'll, we'll get back to it. When I pull the differential out for a application like this, uh, I find it easier to, to just drop the U-bolts. And uh, I also leave the shocks hanging. And uh, it's easier than trying to take the links out. And uh, uh, so just, just trying to hip you fellas, if you ever have this problem or you need to take it out, just trying to show you the easiest way it is for me. Maybe not for everyone, but but it works for me. Well, the first thing we got to do is take the, the lacing wire out. these bolts out we'll lift the lift the Mitchell overdrive off it's got a splined drive shaft it's coupled together with the, this one so you got my jack stand under the spring so it can't flip over now see if we can Come. I see the problem right here. The nuts backed off. That's a good thing. Be an easy fix. What that was doing was letting the, the pinion shaft go inside. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the, and you can see right here, the tabs were locked on it. Evidently, the inside tab where it, where it fits right here must have sheared off. I've never saw that happen before. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the bearings out and check the pinion and all that before I, before I tighten it all back up. And I'm going to put some Loctite on this too when I do it. Pull the coupler off here. Yeah, you can see right there. It sheared the tab for some reason. Maybe maybe it had just got broke from where it had been apart before or something, but uh, we'll have to get a new lock washer. And 
this is a tool I made to pull these pinion bearings out. Uh, they're they're pretty pretty hard to get out if you don't have it. This is just a plate I made board hole in it to go over the pinion gear. And uh, we'll get this back on. I hope we will. I hope it ain't boogered three is up. No, it's going to start. screwing the nut down on it to hold it while I pull it. Okay. Now, you gotta watch for the holes here. You don't want your, your uh, pulling bolts to try to go down into the, the housing holes. Okay, but there we've got the pinion gear out. Get some silicone off of it, gasket sealer. And the pinion and everything looks good. And, uh, you can see where the nut had been going back into the, hitting the carrier. So it, it hadn't hurt anything. So I'm gonna, gonna pull, a, pull the, bearings apart look at it get my nut back off here There you can see it's a it's a double-sided pinion. 
I'm going I'm to mark these bearings and put them back the same place as the race. So far, everything looks good, So, but uh, I'll get the... Look at that. Clean the other burn up real good and look at it. And, uh, should be okay. Well, we're back at the press now. And, uh, I pressed the old one off, and so now we're, we're pressing the new one on. I just got this. Uh, Use an old bearing for a retainer down there, press through the hole. Okie doke, that's got her. And now, we go back over, start putting it back in. Well, we got our uh, uh, pinion bearings back on, put a new, new race, and two new bearings, and new locks, got them all bent over, and and uh, got the preload set right on it. So we're ready to put this back in. Got a piece of aluminum here to pack it down with. The wood just went doing justice. So you can feel it's blind in. could you make a puller to pull it down with, but this is okay too. Should be about home. All right, Rent. Okay, we got the gasket on, got it all glued back up. Got a couple of studs to help line it up. So we're gonna lower it back down, spline it in. Now we gotta turn the drive shaft so it'll spline in. There we go, it's flying in then. Put some bolts in now. Studs out now.
Okay, that's about all there is to it. I'll, I'll hook my radius rod up and uh, be ready to put this thing in. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed.